everybody, this is Kathy again from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to talk to you about an air quality issue. So I just got finished uh, with an uh, assessment for a client that is building a new home. They are under construction right now and they called me in just to do a check uh, mid-construction. Now the potential issue here with uh, this client is that they're using a builder where you can only choose so many things from a package. So they don't have a say into how everything gets done. They basically get to choose, okay, we want this option for the flooring out of all the options you're giving us. Plus, you know, they have, I don't know, five different stoves that they can choose from. So the builder comes to them with a package and says, here's everything we have and you get to choose the options. So uh, while that's cool that they get to choose, they, own, they have a very limited amount of options. So they don't get to choose the most healthy building materials that I would like to see in a new home. Now I realize that sometimes, you know, these uh, building, the way they do these builds are cheaper. They're more affordable for people absolutely understandable you know prices are sky high right now so if that's what you got that's what you got and we just try to do our best um, so what I want to talk about with this specific home is the lumber that is used in the build so the client called me and said hey the framing is in the roof is on and we'd like you to come check out what's been done so far and I'm thinking great you know let's see how everything's looking so I walk in uh, to where the garage is going to be, and this is what it looks like. So you can see from a distance, everything looks great. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, all the framing is in, everything looks pretty good, but as I get up close to the wood, and you can see that staining on the wood, uh, that is mold, uh, most likely. You know, I don't have microscopes for eyes, so I can't confirm that, but in my experience, very, very high likelihood that what I'm looking at right there is mold. Now, I could have tested it and taken a tape lift or a swab and sent that to my lab, which I always love to do. But the client's like, well, you know, the chances are pretty likely it's mold, so we don't really need to test it. We know it's there and we need to fix it. So this is very, very common. Um, there's a thing called lumber yard mold, which uh, contractors like to talk about, which is, you know, they go to the lumber yard, they pick up their wood and there's mold on it. And they're like, well, we build houses like this all the time. Um, so there's no problem with it. It's just the way it is. It's just normal. And while it is common, it does not mean that we should just let it be that way. We don't want any mold on our lumber. Now, I will say that studies have shown that this particular type of mold species um, might not be that harmful. It doesn't create mycotoxins like things, you know, the, the stachybotrys, the ketomiums, the aspergillus uh, spores that we know of that do. Um, but that doesn't mean that we want it on our lumber. If you're a very sensitive person, if you've had a mold exposure, if you're very sensitive to mold, I still don't want that on your lumber because we don't know. We, and, and we also don't know exactly, well, is this the lumber yard mold or is it a different species? You know, what was going on when the mold was stored? Um, this client told me that uh, when they came and checked on the house mid construction before the framing was in, that the lumber was thrown on the ground, it was not elevated, it was not stacked, it was not tarped, it was completely exposed to the elements and the dirt. Okay, well, you know, chances are uh, mold is going to grow in those conditions. So, shame on the builder for that. They need to take better care of their materials, for one. And uh, two, don't, if, if a board is covered in mold, don't put it in the house, right? Uh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Contractors and builders, most of the time, have their bottom line at the forefront of their brain. That's all they're thinking about. Time is money, we gotta get it done, let's move, let's get on to the next house. Not every builder's like that, not every contractor's like that, um, of course, but most of them that I have seen, it's it's about money because that's why, that's why you have a business. 
Um, so, if you're building a new house, talk to your contractor. Uh, make sure that that uh, wood is stacked appropriately off the ground and is covered. Make sure that they're using a moisture meter on the wood and they're putting it up when the wood is relatively dry, which is typically we like to see that under about 16% or so. If it's above that, it's not time to put it up yet. You got to let it dry out a little bit more before it gets put up. Um, and so what can this homeowner do? Well, uh, what we decided is that we want all of those areas sanded off. So you can get a little orbital sander and uh, belt sander and you can sand off that staining on the wood. The homeowner wants the contractor to do it and we talked to the contractor about that. Um, he said he would do a few spots, but if it was out of control and it was really crazy, he doesn't really have the time or the money for that. And again, this is normal, so it's not something that needs to be done. Um, this uh, homeowner has had severe health issues with mold, so that wasn't really acceptable to them. Um, so the client decided that they didn't really want to spend the time to fight the contractor on this. So uh, they are going to sand it off themselves. now. You know, I don't recommend that people do this because when you're sanding mold off of lumber or whatever surface, you're gonna liberate those mold spores and you're gonna breathe that in. Um, so, you know, I, I made that um, caution, you know, if they were gonna do it, please wear a respirator, please wear a Tyvek suit, please make sure that there's good adequate ventilation. You know, I didn't want them to do it, but they want to, okay, cool please make sure that you protect yourself well when you're doing this so that you're not going to um, inhale those spores and get them on your body. And I wanted them to take some binders before and after they do this as well, right? So um, that's it for today. I just wanted to mention that to you because it's an uh, issue I see a lot, unfortunately. So I hope you found it helpful. As always, leave a comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Hit the bell and the subscribe and the like and all the things that I can never remember and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.